Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are doing okay and I am back with a new video and with a not very new topic. So yes, it's about ESP8266 based weather station. So guys, meet my new ESP8266 based weather station version 3. And I have made a lot of changes to the version 2 and made a new version 3. And it comes with a lot of new things. So today I will tell you what is new in this and what changes I made and how you can make your own ESP8266 based weather station. So guys, without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com the manufacturer of good quality professional PCBs. So in order to get your professional PCBs, please visit the link in description and get your professional PCBs from PCBGoGo.com. So hi guys, as I already made two videos on this ESP8266 base weather station. And addition to those two videos, this will be our third. So let me recap you a little bit. So in version 1 we made a basic ESP8266 weather station which will display current weather information of our city. Then in version 2 we updated it with adding time, day, a new layout, some cool bitmap icons. So if you haven't watched those two videos so please do that before starting with this one. And after these two versions, version 3 comes into the picture. And honestly, I wasn't planning this one. But you wanna thank him. Because he was expecting it. So, I hope you will understand why version 3, right? And anyways, for your information, version 3 is way too different than the previous two versions. So, I hope you got some idea from last two videos. Now before we start we might want to do some preparations so we have to download few libraries. So the first two libraries on the list would be ST7735 library and Adafruit GFX library. And if you haven't downloaded both of these please download it. Then download NTP client library. If you haven't you should. Now addition to all this we need one more library. And that is ESP8266 weather station. Please download that too. Now I hope you have downloaded all these libraries. Now you can download my code from video description. Now in my code enter your open weather map API key. Then enter your city name. And one thing to note here is. Please refer open weather map website and see if your city name is available there. Otherwise you can take any neighboring city. So enter your API key and city name. Then here provide your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Then enter your UTC offset time in seconds here. Now to calculate your UTC offset time, first Google your time zone. Like for me UTC 530 for India. And 5.30 means 5 and a half hours. And if you convert 5 and a half hours to seconds, it will be 19800 seconds. So convert your time zone to seconds and enter it here. Now we are pretty much done with the coding part. But there will be one issue when you try to compile this code. Because it won't. And the reason is that the last library ESP8266 weather station we installed, it comes with one old version of NTP client library. And that is causing the issue. So let's fix it. So in your PC find your Arduino libraries folder. In there you will see ESP8266 weather station folder. Then inside that go into SRC folder. Then you will see two NTP client files. 
So either you should move these to somewhere else or you should delete them. And after that compile the code and it will compile perfectly. Now we need the hardware. So I designed a proper PCB for this project. And you can find the Gerber files for this PCB in video description. And then you can order your professional PCBs by going to PCBGoGo.com. And you can upload your Gerber files and order your professional PCBs. Well, I already received my PCBs. So let's connect it all together. And as you can see, it was very easy. And I connected it all together. Now let's connect the power to this board. So our hardware preparations are done. So let's upload the code to the board. And in some seconds you will see that our project is working perfectly. So now you got it all working. But let me explain the code and the UI of our weather station. So our weather station is divided into three UI pages or screens as you can see. The first page will display the time, date and day. Now second page will display current weather information of our city. And the third page will display some weather forecast for upcoming three days. And the top and bottom layout for the city name, country code, time and date you see here is a part of page 1 and it will be staying for all three pages and will be refreshed again by page 1 data. Now in our code we created three methods as screen 1, screen 2 and screen 3 which will display all these three pages. And we wrote three methods to fetch the data as well. So as you can see that we have get time method which will get the time. So every time before screen 1 we will call get time method to get the time. And it will update the time data and screen 1 can display the updated time. Now for the data of second screen we created get current data method which is basically modified version of the example open weather map current demo provided by ESP8266 weather station library. So it will update the current weather information and then screen 2 method can display the updated data. Now we created a method called get weather forecast data to get the minimum maximum temperature for upcoming 3 days and the humidity for those days. So this method will update the weather forecast for upcoming 3 days and screen 3 will display the updated data. Now I will tell you about some features we implemented. So in screen 1 as you can see that the day name is colored. So for each and every day it will be displayed in different color. And for your reference the color of days will be these. Now in screen 2 the temperature will change color based on temperature value according to this logic. And you will be able to see these values in these colors like this shown for your reference. As now for current temperature you can see the current color. Similar to that we did similar thing with humidity as well. It will also change color based on its value. Now about the weather logo and the weather information text below it. It is also dynamic. It will change color according to your weather information. So based on type of weather the icon will change and the color will change for the icon and the text below it. And the logic you can find in display weather bitmap screen 2 method which will be called by screen 2 method to display icons. Now moving on to screen 3. The icons are static here but the color will be dynamic and it is set according to the day name. For a particular day it will be displayed in a different color. And for your information the data for screen 3 was more difficult part of this code. So get forecast data method is written totally from scratch. 
because I couldn't find any good working library to handle parsing of JSON. So I wrote my own JSON parsing logic from scratch. And the issue is Open Weather Map API free version gives you forecast list of every 3 hours of upcoming 5 days, including current day. So to get one day forecast data, you have to collect data of every 3 hours which means one day data will be divided in 8 parts. So the forecasted humidity you saw on the screen is just the average of those 8 data parts. So it might not be as accurate as the data displayed on the internet. But the temperature min and temperature max are accurate enough. But allow them to have 1 or 2 degrees Celsius of inaccuracy because it could happen during conversions from flow to int. So guys, I think the remaining things are self-explanatory. You can explore them on your own. And last but not the least, every screen will be displayed for 10 seconds. So guys, I hope you enjoy this project. And I don't think so there is anyone on YouTube who made a ESP8266 based weather station with these many features. And guys, this was really hard for me. One of the toughest code I wrote so far on Arduino IDE. And the tough part was especially get forecast data method in this code. So I hope you guys share this video and give me a like. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.